Welcome to our demonstration of configuring virtual machine replication with VMware vSphere Replication. We begin by right-clicking the virtual machine we wish to protect. Select All vSphere Replication Actions and click Configure Replication. This opens the Configure Replication user interface. Here, we see options to replicate to a vCenter server environment or to a cloud provider service such as vCloud Air Disaster Recovery. We will be replicating to a vCenter server environment and click Next. The next step is selecting a target site. We select WDC and click Next. It is possible to manually select the vSphere replication server at the target site where the virtual machine will be replicated. vSphere replication can also assign a vSphere replication server automatically. Since we have only one vSphere replication server at the target site, we will keep the default setting and click Next. We must also select Storage at the target site where the replicated virtual machine will be stored. Click Edit. This opens up the Target Location page. We select the Business Critical Storage Policy, which was previously created for our VMware Virtual SAN Data Store at the target site. We select the compatible vSAN Data Store click OK, and click Next. Here, we see two replication options, guest OSQSing and network compression. For this virtual machine, we enable both options and click Next. The default recovery point objective, or RPO, is four hours. We will keep the default RPO and enable multiple point-in-time instances. vSphere Replication supports the retention of up to 24 instances, also referred to as recovery points. For this virtual machine, we will keep the default setting of three instances per day for five days. Click Next. For the last configuration step, we verify the configuration and click Finish. After a few moments, replication of the virtual machine gets started. Replication status can be monitored in the vSphere web client. Notice that three virtual machines are being replicated, including the one we just configured. This concludes our demonstration of configuring replication for a virtual machine using VMware vSphere Replication. Thank you.